Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to AFK the impossible Kraken boss on Arm Wrestling Simulator and how you can get yourself one of these Zeus pets or just AFK for tickets. And it is pretty simple, but it is going to require you have a Logitech mouse and an auto clicker. Those are the two things that you need. If you don't have the Logitech mouse, you can either buy one or this probably won't work. I think you can have a Razer mouse also, but you need a mouse that allows you to make macros, which the Logitech one and the Razer ones, they allow you to have macros. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what you need. This is the mouse you need right now. Right now it's like 54% off. So it's pretty cheap right now. This is the one that I use. But once you buy this, you'll be able to have Logitech G Hub, which lets you make the macros. And you're going to need two macros for this, as well as an auto clicker. The auto clicker I use is the GS auto clicker. I'll leave the links to both of these things in the description. But basically, the first macro, you want it to auto click W, S, and A. Make sure you do not put D on there. And then you want to set them to one millisecond. You want to make sure this is not at 50. You want to make sure you click use standard delay and turn that off. And then set each one to one millisecond. And then the second macro you need is a macro to hold e and basically how you do this i'll show you how to make a macro but once you get the software it's going to show up like this and then you just click on your mouse right here and you go to macros and create new macro and just call it whatever you want i'm going to call it arm wrestling and then you want to click right here where it says toggle and then turn off use standard delay and then click start now and then click recording keystrokes and then you want to press e and then click stop recording then after that you want to set it to like 350 or 400 milliseconds just like that and save it i already have one which is right here and then after that you're gonna click down here where it says view to and you're gonna click and drag it to one of these side buttons and then you have to click these side buttons on your mouse whenever you're in the game so basically the one that i have set to holding e if i click that i'm gonna click in three two one basically automatically holds it down it doesn't automatically click that that is what the second macro is for but i'm not holding e down or anything and once it ends it's just gonna go again so i'll show you that right now and just like that it automatically goes back and then we got our other one which is the w a and s and i'll show you guys that right now this one basically spams these three if i put d on it too it would miss some like i tried it with w a s n d and it was missing some so i just set it to three right now and then you want the auto clicker to auto click the d one and then you're not going to miss any almost and as you can see it's not going down at all but i'm just going to go ahead and stop right now so that's basically what you need to do and then once you got the macro set you obviously want to drag them over to one of these two things right here or this one too but i just have them set to these two buttons and obviously you have to go back in game and you want to set both the macros and make sure that there's only three on the WASD macro, make sure it's only WAS and not the D1. You have to have an auto clicker on that or else it'll miss some. But as you guys can see, I'm not missing any tiles and it's just going up. And I think it takes like two minutes, but you have to have both macros going on as well as the auto clicker and you're not going to miss anything. All right, so I'm about to be done with this one. I'm about to defeat the boss. And then once it's done, it should automatically go back into it and it'll start back up again. So that just shows you that it works while AFK. But yeah, that's basically how you do it. But I'm going to go ahead and stop all the macros. I think really quickly, I'm just going to go ahead and time it just to see how much i can get per day while afk to see like how many of these i could get also we get five times luck with this so instead of a one in 500 it makes it one in 100 fights and it makes this one over here one in 20 fights for the 550,000. so you'd probably be able to get one of these within just a few hours and you'd be able to get quite a few of these i've actually got like two or three of these already just with like a few dozen fights so this one is definitely possible to get but this one's a little bit harder i haven't got one of those yet but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and time this real quick and i'm gonna see how long it takes and i'm gonna see after that like how many i could get per day so yeah, I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start the stopwatch right now. All right, I just started the stopwatch and we're gonna see how long it takes to defeat this impossible boss. So I'll be right back whenever this is done. All right, so we're about to get it done. There we go, we just got it done and it took me two minutes and 10 seconds, which that is 130 seconds. And there's 86,400 seconds per day divided by 130. So you could defeat it 664 times in one day if you AFK for like 24 hours straight. But let's just say you AFK for one third of that time. So just while you're sleeping, you could defeat it 221 times which basically has about the average to give you two of these while you're sleeping and it'll probably give you like almost 10 of these maybe while you're sleeping as well as like probably around 3,000 tickets as well and if you have to like go to school or go to work or something basically double that so yeah you can get a lot of good stuff while you're AFKing this maybe I'll make a video on AFKing overnight and see what kind of stuff or and see what kind of rewards I get from it if you want to see that let me know but right now I have like 900 tickets so I have quite a few tickets but I have not yet got one of these 5.5 million pets which I really need one so I can start getting a lot more strength and a lot more wins honestly i think this is probably a lot better than just going to the greek world but if this video helped make sure to leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye